Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. My name is Jerome Menendez and welcome to the October Hall edition, the Geek Hall, if you will, of uh, this very channel at the end of every month. If you're new here, welcome. At the end of every month, I'd like to, you know, uh, go over all the stuff I got. And if you guys want me to review a specific product from the ones I got, please let me know in the comment section below and I will happily do so. Happy Spooktober, even though this video is being posted in uh, November. Uh, actually, I'm recording this in Halloween, but it's going to be posted later. So uh, yeah, it, it, it doesn't uh, really work. I wanted to do four Spooktober books, but I was only able to do three. That was uh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Afterlife with Archie, and Moonshine. The fourth book actually arrived in time for this haul video, not for um, not for an actual uh, book review. But look forward to that eventually in the upcoming weeks. So yeah, there's a ton of stuff that did not arrive. I'm currently missing, I think, like uh, two out of five orders or something like that. A uh, couple uh, manga books and some hardcovers and stuff, but don't worry. Like I always say, month after month, we'll see that eventually in the next haul. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff to cover from manga to uh, Blu-ray, figures, art. Uh, books, hardcovers, trades, all that fun stuff. So let's get started with manga because they're small, compact, and filled with awesomeness. I did get quite a few that I want to highlight for you guys. Continuing my journey through uh, Berserk, I have here with me volumes 18, 19, and 20. I don't know what I'm going to do yet because they announced the uh, deluxe edition hardcovers and I'm really enjoying what I've been reading so far so I really don't know uh, what I'm gonna do. Uh, I, I love me some manga but I don't know owning Berserk in like uh, trade paperback size um, is, is just too good of an offer to uh, pass up. I don't know if eventually I'll sell these or and double dip I, I, I still don't know but for now I am enjoying what I am reading it is an amazing series that I uh, you know I'm late to the party I know I know I'm super late to the party but it's been pretty interesting and fun uh, so far so there's uh, yeah 18 through 20 and I should have 21 over here yeah and uh, sorry volume 21 as well so this much of Berserk goodness this book was supposed to be a Spooktober read, like I mentioned earlier. It is Junji Ito's Frankenstein hardcover from uh, Viz Media, and this is freaking awesome. Eventually, yeah, I will do a video because I've talked about every uh, major Junji Ito uh, work, uh, or mostly the Viz stuff anyways. Uh, so yeah, I'm very much looking forward to talking about this with you guys. It's pretty freaking badass. So, yeah, there you go. Frankenstein from Junji Ito. Or my Shonen uh, fix. Got My Hero Academia Volume 15. My Hero Academia Vigilantes Volume 2. Got Wolfsmon Volume 2. I, I totally forgot to keep up with this series, so I got Volume 2. And, of course, one of my favorites, The Ancient Magus Bride Volume 9, which I think is the... Uh, last volume at the moment. That's it for manga. Let's do some trade paperbacks because there's a lot of them. Uh, in no particular order or company or whatever I've got from uh, DC. You've got Batman White Knight. This is uh, from the DC Black label. From Image Comics we've got Manifest Destiny Volume 6 which is called Fortis and Invisibilia or something. I don't know. Monstrous Volume 3. Uh, subtitled Haven, Rumble Volume 4, Soul Without Pity. If you want to check out reviews on these books, I did do videos on Monster Volume 1 and Rumble Volume 1 on this channel. Uh, Birthright Volume 6, titled uh, Fatherhood. Back to DC Comics, I love the Hanna-Barbera uh, alternate universe. This is Scooby Apocalypse Volume 4 with one of the creepiest covers, or back covers, I don't know, looking pretty freaking badass. They got 
Exit Stage Left, The Snagglepuss Chronicles. From Marvel, I got this reprint of Exiles, The Complete Collection, Volume 1. And I want to ask, if you have this book, does it look like this for you? Because it looks pretty faded, and I am asking if... I'm wondering, I should say, if this is a worn-out uh, reprint copy that's been sitting too long. I, I don't know. It, it, it looks super faded compared to other books. Anyways, I am not the biggest X-Men fan, except for, you know, a few characters and a few stories that I've read, but I really like the concept of Exiles, and I think I might have read one or two issues back in the day, and I want to reread it uh, along with everything else, because it's a pretty large series. So these uh, reprints are pretty awesome. Moving on to hardcovers. From Marvel, we've got the Amazing Spider-Man uh, oversized hardcover for uh, the Red Goblin stuff, which concludes Dan Slott's tenure with the Webhead. I cannot wait to read it because I have been a fan since day one. I've been collecting all the Dan Slott stuff since it's been coming out in Collected Edition. Uh, from Image, we've got uh, Reborn. This is the uh, DCBS variant from Mark Bellar and Greg Capullo, and it looks pretty awesome. From DC, we've got Wonder Woman Earth 1 Volume 2. Love this book. From uh, Boom Studios, A New Klaus. This is The New Adventures of Santa Claus from of course, Grant Morrison and Dan Mora. I reviewed the first book uh, last year, if you want to check it out. And, um, I, this should have been an oversized hardcover, but whatever. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy Omnibus uh, from uh, Gary Dugan. I finally finished Vertigo's, or I should say Jason Aaron's Scout. This is uh, five, four, and three. I've had uh, volumes one and two for the longest of times. And I finally went ahead and picked up those uh, to finish the series. Uh, omnibuses. I mentioned Guardians of the Galaxy. And I did get on a damage sale at in-stock trades with just one ding at the top. I really don't know if you... I don't think you can see it. And one at the bottom over there. That's about it. The Batman and Robin uh, by Tomasi and Gleason Omnibus. And because I have to thank uh, my good friend... Uh, Omnidog, over at Omnidog's Vault, because he made me into a Harley Quinn fan. I had to get Harley Quinn Omnibus Volume 2. So, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to uh, reading this. Volume 1 was hilarious. It's really fun stuff. Moving on to collectibles and all that stuff. Uh, Movie-wise, just one, I think. I'm probably missing something that I didn't bring to this uh, video. Uh, I got on 4K Ant-Man and the Wasp, but this is the only MCU movie I skipped in theaters. Just I, I, I completely forgot <laughs> to go uh, uh, see it, and then it left. So yeah, very much looking forward to uh, watching this on Blu-ray. Pop-wise, unfortunately, I am in the midst of getting out of the pop game. Uh, I think I have almost everything I want, except for like uh, rare items like uh, Hanna-Barbera stuff and future anime stuff that I kind of want to get. But uh, for the most part, superheroes and all that stuff, I, I kind of have everything I need. So I won't be collecting as many pops going forward, maybe one or two, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I had to do it because he's my favorite DC superhero and one of my favorite heroes. I got the Aquaman wave uh, for the movie. You got Black Manta and Orm, or uh, Ocean Master, if you will. And the power couple Got Arthur Curry himself, Aquaman, and Mira. And I got to thank my good friend Tyler for uh, getting this and, and finally shipping it out to me. Uh, it was a combination of forgetting, plus hurricanes, plus uh, laziness, but yeah, I forgot to highlight this. Uh, Aragorn and Arwen. This is from SDCC 2017. So there you go. Thank you, Tyler. Speaking of Tyler, he was kind enough to get this epic epic, epic item uh, for me at New York Comic Con 2018, I was able to acquire this uh, foil variant for Aquaman Rebirth uh, Volume 40. I don't collect the singles, but it's Ivan Reyes, my boy. Uh, I love his art, and to me, he's one of the definitive Aquaman artists. The cover looks insane. It is, of course, uh, the uh, movie poster variant. Just looking so freaking badass. I am very fortunate to have amazing friends that can uh, help me acquire these items 
And the main reason I bothered him with the uh, with the uh, uh, NYCC stuff is getting this uh, Mira print from uh, Mauricio Takara. Really, really awesome. Got it signed as well. Just looks impressive and beautiful as hell. I love it. Plus, quick little freebie that Tyler was able to get me is the Lego Aquaman movie poster. Love it. Thank you so much, man. Speaking of awesome things, my friend Beto was kind enough to help me get this, this beautiful thing figure so I can finally uh, finish my uh, Fantastic Four set and they're facing off against Doctor Doom up there. So yeah, I finally have the thing and it is impressive as hell. And last but not least, this is the uh, last item for now. It is the Marvel Now uh, Kotobukiya Uncanny X-Men Magic Statue. The Magic, Magic, whatever you, however you want to say it. I prefer Magic, that's just me. Uh, Uncanny X-Men, I love uh, Magic. She and Scarlet Witch are my favorite mutant characters. So I was very happy to get this because I know it's out of stock in a lot of places. So yeah, I was able to find this for cheap. And that about does it for October and this epic mega haul. Jesus. Uh, thank you so much everybody for tuning in. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you see something you like and you want to uh, and you want to hear what I have to say about it or, or a review or something, an unboxing, whatever, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much once again for liking, commenting, subscribing to a We Can Geek Them here on YouTube. You are the absolute best. I love every single one of you guys. I have got to go. I gotta sort all this stuff out and I will catch all of you on our next video.